hi Niels, it's Holly from Team Milizia. Hi, yes, all good, all good. Um, but we have a bit of an issue. Um, there is a part that we need for the rudder that we need to amend. And um, basically we can't get it from anyone. Um, we've literally contacted everywhere in France and obviously it being so close to Christmas, we are really stuck. And uh, Boris actually had the good idea that you guys might be able to make it for us um, in Germany. Um, at Shoots Factory, and I was just wondering if you think it's going to be possible. Uh, yeah, I can send it over. It's basically a C plate. It's this part that goes in the rudder. It's made out of carbon, and I'm pretty sure you guys have the like the machines to do it. But it's whether you have the manpower to basically be able to get it done in time. Uh, we need it basically in the next three or four days. It's a pretty tight deadline. No problem, Holly. Let me see what we can do at Schutz in order to solve your problem. But I'm pretty sure that we can make the parts for you on time. Thank you so much. Yes, perfect. Okay, perfect. Bye. Talk to you soon. Bye. Okay, so it looks like they might be able to get the part we need. Really? Yeah. Fingers crossed. We wanted to go through the rudders and improve the tolerances where we could on the bearings and just make everything a little bit more precise. We reached out to Schultz to see if they could help us make some more accurate carbon assemblies that we'd then be able to assemble on site and get a better control over the roundness and alignment of the bearings. So Schultz were able to step in at the last minute and they, uh, they made us parts over Christmas really quickly and that was absolutely great. So it's allowed us to build the spare rudder with a new assembly and prove that this new, more accurate assembly is going to help our rudder bearings and mean that we put less load on our rudder bearings because everything is better aligned. So what we have is in inside these titanium frets, the bearing surface that the needle rollers see, we have built a solid carbon assembly. And that solid carbon assembly is made out of 30 millimeter C plates that are all identical, that have been stacked up and then bonded in place and then we have slid the metallic part over the top. So it was really important that these C plates were very accurate so that when we built this all together, when we slid the titanium over, that the titanium stayed the proper shape and then was not stretched or warped. So that's why we needed really good and accurate parts to be able to do that. And now they've been all bricked up, we slid the titanium over and then we've got the extra parts that Schultz did us that all clip around it for all, all the holes that give us our give us our bottom plate for the rudder and give us the clamping plates that we put on when the rudder is in the boat. Having everything so accurate just means that it's easier for us to install but more importantly as well if the sailors have to change the rudder at sea everything is much easier to work with for the sailors too because everything just goes together really neatly and cleanly and if it's easier onshore, easier onshore it's also easier offshore. 